Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, I haven't done an empties video in a while and I have a bag full of trash. So I thought I would share my big bag of trash with y'all. Um, so I kind of do this every once in a while. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff um, that I have used up. I share with you guys if I liked it or not because you can't truly know a product until you use it all the way up. Some of these are like staples of mine that I go through over and over and over um, and some are new things and some I tossed because they were just no good. But this is all the things that I use up for the past couple months here. I'll have everything listed and linked that I can find <laughs> down below. So let's go ahead and get started. You can hear that. That is my chair. My chair is so loud. It's like spongy and squishy and it has like the worst sound. And I've also been having like a ton of sound issues. I bought a new mic. <laughs> so I'm hoping the sound issues are okay on this video. I don't know what's going on. I'm not very like, I don't technical things like this. I'm like so bad at and I try to learn, but I'm just like an old lady with so. <laughs> bear with me with the sound um, and my spongy my spongy chair um, okay so first couple things are here um, I have some hair stuff the living proof perfect hair day dry shampoo I think this is the jumbo size like a staple of mine I've gone through like way too many bottles of this dry shampoo it's like the only dry shampoo I've used I have tried a new one actually from gimme beauty um, that is really really good I'll link it down below I think I have a discount code for gimme beauty too but it is really, really good. It's very, very light, soaks up all that oil and it smells amazing. So I'll link this one and the Gimme Beauty one um, in case you wanna check it out. And then I also went through this one. This is the Redken All Soft Heavy Cream. I think they discontinued this because I went to go purchase it and I could not find it anywhere. I They maybe like reformulated it or like called it a different name now. If you know anything about this, I used to use this as like an extra deep conditioner for my hair. And I went through this, tried to repurchase and it wasn't there anymore. And I was like, oh no, did they discontinue it? So if they did, oh well. My hair's still been pretty good without it, but I did really like this. Okay, next up, more hair stuff. I went through a shampoo and conditioner. I actually tried this out. I really wanted to try it out because I heard really good reviews and I just wanted to try something new. I had I've been using the Perfect Hair Day shampoo and conditioner from Living Proof forever now, and I just wanted to try something new. So this is the Hydrate line from Pureology. I really did like it, but I'm gonna stick with the Living Proof. It was very hydrating to my hair, like very hydrating, actually to the point where I feel like my hair looked darker when I used it, because it was like, nourishing my hair um but i think if you have colored hair um i don't color my hair this is my natural hair color if you color your hair a lot or just put a lot of damage to your hair i think the hydrate line is awesome and i highly suggest it um, but it is heavy on your hair so your hair has to be colored or like pretty dry and brittle and it definitely helps so if you need some hydration this is a great line, highly suggest it. Um, I don't think I need that much hydration in my hair. Maybe I do, I don't know. <laughs> but I, the Living Proof um, Perfect Hair Day Shampoo and Conditioner is just like my favorite. I feel like it just cleans my hair really good. So I'm gonna stick with that. All right, more hair things I used up. Um, this is the Olaplex Hair Perfector. It's the number three hair mask. It repairs and strengthens your hair. I use this once a week on my hair and I swear my hair has grown faster um, and it's just so healthy. I just <laughs> love it. It makes my hair so, so healthy and super, super soft. Um, so I really, really love this stuff. I think it works great. Highly suggest it. I've gone through so many little bottles of this little guy, so definitely suggest it. Like I said, I use it once a week. I actually lather it in my hair and let it sit for like a good 30 minutes and just let it soak in, um, mostly on the ends. I also went, I did not go through this. I almost said I went through this. I did not go through this. This is the Way Leave-In Conditioner. I wanted to smell this scent. It is um, the like little collaboration they did with Byredo and it's the Mojave Ghost scent. 
I started using this and my scalp, <laughs> like, I don't know if it burned or if it like, it just started peeling and like it was really bad. So I stopped using this, went back to the regular way leave-in conditioner and my scalp was much, much better. So I don't know if the like fragrance in this did not agree with my skin or what, but it smells really nice. It does smell good, but it like burned the heck out of my scalp. It was weird. I went through my favorite self tanner of all time, the Tan Lux The Butter, the big jumbo size. You can get it off HSN. They usually have a pretty good deal for like 36 bucks for this entire jug. Um, I have like backups of this because I love it. It is my favorite. It is very gradual, but it gives you color. Like it gives you color. It's not gradual where you're like, where is the color on my skin? No, it actually builds color really nicely but it does it in a gradual way and it's just a lotion. It just pumps out as a white lotion. You just put it all over. It doesn't leave streaks. It doesn't, it's not patchy. It's the best. It's the best self tanner I have found out there. Um, but again, it is gradual. If you want like a deep dark tan quick, this is not what you want. But if you just want a little bit of color constantly, this stuff is awesome. Not an empties without some necessary products. I can't live without my necessary products. Um, I do have a discount code. I will leave it down below. I love their products. I say it anytime I mention necessary. I just have to rave about it because I love it. And I, I just, there. it's the best body wash. My skin has completely changed over using these products. Um, so this is the hand cream I've gone through. <laughs> look, look at this little guy. I squeezed every little bit out of this. I've gone through so many hand creams and it is the best hand cream. It does not leave greasy. It does not, it just like sinks into your skin and hydrates your hands. I use it every single night of my life because <laughs> I love it. It is so good. Um, their body wash is amazing. They have amazing scents. Um, eucalyptus is like my favorite. Um, and it's a really great body wash. It foams up really nice and just, it's really good for your skin. Um, and I recently went through this. This is the first time I got to try out the body serum. Holy moly, it like helped my winter skin so much. I did not get any sort of dryness on my legs or arms or body, like anywhere because I was using this. It is so good. I am obsessed with the body serum. I don't think I'll need it as much as we get into the warmer months just because my skin's not as dry. But in winter months when my skin is dry and I need a little bit more hydration to my skin, whole, like my skin was buttery soft. It was so good. Um, so really like this. So what I did with the body serum is I would put the body serum on before I went on top with the lotion. So I did the body serum, rubbed it all over. Then I went in with the lotion on top. It's an amazing combination. All right. Some skincare stuff, actually lots of skincare stuff. Um, I have the bare minerals, cleansing oil. They, I don't know if they like got rid of their old one and then brought it back and repackaged it, but I love the Bare Minerals cleansing oil. It is so good. It removes every little trace of makeup, especially eye makeup. Um, don't use it if you have contacts in though. I always take my contacts out and use it, um, but it is a really great first step to remove any kind of makeup. Um, and then this little guy, this is, this is not so little, it's the jumbo size of the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser, one of my favorite face cleansers. It's so cleansing. It just makes your skin feel so clean without fully like drying it out. So it's been one of my favorites. I, I think it's in like every empties video, but I wanted to mention it because it's good. All right, more fresh products. These are both from the Rose line. I love their Rose line. It is so hydrating. If you have dry skin, I'm telling you the Rose line is like, it's very hydrating, but it's also like soothing and calming to the skin. So you have like, if you have really dry, irritated skin, oh, this stuff is so good. Um, I always, always pull it out in like the winter months and when it's really cold. Um, this is the Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. Really, really nice. It's definitely on the thicker side. It's got kind of that gel consistency. It's a gel cream um, and it just really, really hydrates the skin. I love it. It lays really nicely under makeup too. I usually use this, I can use it morning and night, um, but I usually use it 
definitely in the morning um, and makeup lays so nicely on top of it. And then this is the deep hydration sleeping mask. So it has on one side, it has like the, um, Oh, I have the little tap one side. It had the like rose, um, like their regular rose face mask. And then on the other side, it had like this water cream where it's kind of like a thicker cream. So you put the rose kind of, it's like a gel consistency all over your skin and then let that sink in and then put the cream on top. It's very heavy on your skin and it feels very heavy, but you sleep with it on and then you wake up and you rinse it off and your skin is so hydrated. I usually only use this when my skin was like, literally peeling and flaking, which I do have in the winter time. I, I will get to the point where it's just peeling and flaking and nothing can help my skin but that. So I use that very sparingly, but also when it's really, really dry, but it's really good. So dry skin girls out there, definitely check out the Rose line. It's awesome. All right, next up, I have some Dime Beauty products. I love Dime Beauty. Um, I've been using them for a while now, and I do have a discount code, which I can put down below, but their serums are my favorite. The Hyperglow Serum and the Hyaluronic Acid Serum are must-haves for me. I use these up. I already have other two <laughs> in use back there. Um, the Hyperglow and the Hyaluronic I use in the morning. So I go in with the Hyperglow, which is the vitamin C. I put that on first, and then I go in with a little bit of the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And they're so lightweight. They don't feel sticky or heavy or like... I don't know, when you touch your skin, it's not like stick. <laughs> you know what I mean? They just sink into your skin and they work. So. I love those serums are my favorite from Dime Beauty. Um, I also tried out this, this is the TBT cream and I kind of went through a love hate with this. I kind of didn't really like it at first, but then I kind of liked it. And by the time I was done with it, I was like, I'm ready to be done with you. I think, I think I need to move on. Um, it says it's a clean retinol alternative. Um, but I don't know. I just, it was fine. I think I have some in there still. Oh, it's pretty wipe clean, but it was fine. It just, I just didn't feel like it. I don't know. It was just a nice moisturizer. The consistency was really nice. It was kind of almost had a little bit of a gel consistency, but a cream and it laid on my skin nicely, sunk into my skin nicely, but I don't know. I just didn't find that like for a retinol alternative, I didn't find that it does what a retinol does. Next up, another skincare product I can't live without. I already repurchased, which is really hard for the wallet because it's not a cheap product, but I promise you it is good. And I actually, I think I got my mom on this one as well. It's the Revision Skincare Nectifirm um, in the Advanced. I tried, I used to use the regular Nectifirm, which I also love, um, but I tried the Advanced and I, I like this even better. Um, it just helps if you have wrinkles or for me, it's mostly like the crepiness, that like crepey kind of bumpy dry skin. Um, it has really, really helped kind of like firm up the skin around the neck area. So if you haven't used a neck cream before and you're looking for a good one, Revision Skincare has a great one. It is pricey, but it does last a very long time. So. I already repurchased. Also used up, this is the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Face Oil. Great for the winter months again. It's a great, nice oil. It's a little thick, but it is very, very hydrating to the skin. I would only use this at nighttime. Um, I never used it during the day really, but it's very, very hydrating. I don't know what went on this past winter. My body was nice and hydrated with all my necessary products, but my face was very dry. So I was working on all, all my <laughs> hydrating products this winter. Um, and this definitely did help. So I like, I like this oil. I think it's really the only facial oil I kind of like. Some facial oils are, I don't know, they just don't work as well. I like this one in the what is it called? Um, Sunday Riley Luna sleeping oil one. That one is really good as well. All right, next up, I use this. <laughs> you probably can't even tell what it is. It is the Summer Fridays, the Butter Balm. They have changed their packaging. Thank goodness, because this was the worst packaging ever. Great product, though. The product inside was really, really good. The packaging was horrible. So 
I already have another one in the new packaging. It is way better. It has like a nice little like applicator, squeeze it, like squeezy tube type thing. Um, but this was just horrible. It like oozed out and it was just a mess and it was hard to use. And I'm so glad this one is done and I have the other packaging now. So great, great lip balm though. Very, very thick and hydrating. I actually put it on at night before I go to bed. Um, and I'll also use it throughout the day too. It's a good one. I want to quickly share before I get into some makeup. Um, this is the Billy razor. So I don't know. What do you guys use for razors? Do you do like a subscription thing or do you do, um, just like buy them like every so often at Target or what, like, what do you do? Um, so I tried out the Billy for like maybe even a year and after a couple months, <laughs> I felt like all my razors, like it would be like one use and it would be completely dull. Like, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't like it. So I switched, um, I dropped the Billy subscription and I decided to try out the Athena Club, I think it's called. Um, and so far so good, I like it. Um, they do definitely dull, like you have to change them out pretty quickly but not as bad as this. I feel like this, I was like shave, one time shave and I'm moving on to the next razor. So I don't know if I just got some bad ones or what, but I don't know. Have you tried Billy? Have you tried, what is it called? Uh, Athena Club? Let me know. I'd like to hear what you guys use. Last up, some makeup products. Pretty like much staples here that I use all the time. Um, although this, I, I liked it, but I didn't love it. It's the Laura Mercier, the hydrating primer. It was fine. I've used other hydrating primers that I like better. Um, at times it would get a little too much on my skin. Maybe I just put too much on. Um, but sometimes it would like ball up my foundation and stuff. So maybe I just didn't need it. I don't know. Maybe I was using it wrong, but it was fine. It was fine. I just, I won't go and repurchase it right away. Um, also used up my little brow combination, the Brow Wiz, which I feel like I go through really fast. Um, I use the shade Medium Brown. It is a really good eyebrow pencil though. It's like a cult favorite. And the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, which I can't live without. I love, I love that brow gel. Um, I also used up my favorite eyeliner. This is the Rare Beauty perfect strokes matte liquid liner it has a really really fine brush tip and it's really easy to use and it does not budge i already have another one in use of this um and then last up the montour big mascara from lancome that i always have backups of and in use i i just always have this mascara around because it's my favorite and probably these are like my most used makeup products all right guys so that is it for all my empties products. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll have all discount codes and everything linked down below. I'll have links down below as well. If you guys like this video and want to see more empties, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!